Hey everyone, we're heading up to St. Patrick's Day and we're all set to bake some corned beef and cabbage. I've been cooking up corned beef and cabbage for more than 40 years for friends, for uh, many service groups. Uh, usually I'm cooking dinner for about 300, but today we're just cooking for us. I'm going to cook up for about 10 people. Usually I say about a half a pound a person. So we got about five pounds of uh, corned beef. But first of all, we're going to start out putting the spices in the pot. Some pickling spice, about a tablespoon full. Two or three bay leaves. Eight cloves. Four cloves of garlic, minced. Two teaspoons of salt. Two onions, sliced up real nice. Now we're gonna add our corned beef. All these spices are gonna help to spice the corned beef, but it's also gonna have to make the cabbage and the potatoes real good later on too. The flavors that are gonna come out of this are gonna be unbelievable. Now I picked this up over at Longo's, and uh, Longo's has this 365 days a year. Rachel's, it's a really nice cut of corned beef fat in it. And I like to put the juices that they keep it in, I like to put those right into the pot as well. Now we're going to cook this up for about uh, 45 minutes a pound. There's uh, five pounds in there. So we're looking at about four hours of cooking. It's uh, going to cook up real nice over the next four hours that's gonna cook real nice. Put the lid back on again, bring it up to high. When it gets rolling pretty good, cut it down to a simmer. So we'll be watching that right now for a little while and then we'll be uh, getting into uh, showing you how to add the cabbage, potatoes in a little while. Yeah, well it's been about four hours now. Corned beef should be just about ready. We've uh, taken one out. We're wrapping it up in, uh, in aluminum foil. But first we're gonna put a little bit of juice in there to make sure it's gonna be sitting in there for about an hour while the cabbage is cooking. Oh yeah, that's nice. beef is not just for St. Patrick's Day. You can use this 365 days a year. Put it in the oven at uh, the lowest temperature you can, just keeping warm. Yeah, Longo's has uh, corned beef on sale there, 365 days a year. They have a pretty good quality of corned beef. Rachel's that uh, I like to use. Take that uh, cabbage, cut it in uh, in half and then cut your wedges. One cabbage should do about 10 people. That's the way I figure it. I like to cut it into wedges. Throw it into your water. These little red potatoes are your best to, uh, to use for the St. Patrick's Day dinner. Uh, get the little ones about that size. If you uh, if you can't get them that size, you can always take one, cut it in half. Put those in there. But the juice of the corned beef is going to make these real tasty. Bringing that up to a boil. You're going to cook this for about an hour until it becomes nice and tender. Some people like to cook uh, carrots along with their corned beef. This is dried parsley. Put this parsley in to add a little bit of flavor, but also adds Touch of the green and the orange. Okay, we're just wrapping up our dinner here, and these uh, we pulled out the cabbage. We're just pulling out the potatoes now. Reminds me of a story. Uh, two fellas talking from Cork. The one fella says, "A roof from Cork. I am a roof. Cheat potatoes. Did I do? And how'd you eat them? Scandinavian." 
So you'll like these with skins and all these red potatoes. They're so wonderful. You can buy these at any grocery store, but again, Longos keeps these uh, all year round. Little red potatoes, some are in bagged already. Some you can buy by the pound. But uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna plate this up and, uh, and have dinner. You need to uh, cut across the grain. So you gotta look very carefully as to where this grain is running. The grain is running this way across here. So you wanna cut across that grain. You can cut a little bit of fat off of here. That's what gives it a lot of the flavor. If you cut a little bit of fat off here, a lot of people will be saying, Wow! That's what I want! Oh, so nice. Maybe some Irish soda bread. That'll be in a uh, future one of our videos if you uh, care to watch. Uh, make sure you indicate the uh, like on the bottom and uh, subscribe. Slaunch it, everyone. Now that's a nicely poured pint of Guinness, if I do say so myself. Down at the Quinn household. You're welcome anytime. Come round any old time and make yourself at home. Put your feet on the mantel shelf. Open the door and help yourself. We don't care if your friends have left you all alone. Rich or poor, just knock on our door and make yourself at home. Launch it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>